Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm going to show you how to take data from PubSub and move it into Firebase, this time using Python. If you want to jump ahead, here are the timestamps. First, we're going to set up the environments for PubSub and Firebase. Then we'll write the cloud function. Then we'll deploy, look at the logs, and see that this worked in the database. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to cloud.google.com, click on console. Now I'll type in PubSub. OK, it's been enabled. If this isn't enabled for you, you can go to the hamburger menu, APIs and services, library, and inside here, type PubSub, choose Cloud PubSub, and this button here that says Manage will say Enable. So I'll go back to PubSub, I'll create a topic. For my projects, this is going to be related to creating an automated garden. So I'll call it Garden Sensors, add a default subscription, create topic. This is also creating the subscription. Sometimes this part doesn't work. If it didn't work for you, go to Subscriptions, create subscription. I always choose the name dash SUB at the end, so Garden Sensors sub. We'll choose the topic we just created and leave everything else the same. Then you'll come to the very bottom and click Create. I'll go back to Topics. And now we're ready in PubSub. I'll come over to firebase.google.com, click console, and I'll add a project. Instead of entering a name, I'm going to choose the Python Fire project, continue, and confirm Blaze. We do need Google Analytics enabled, and I'll just choose the default account. Add Firebase, and continue. Now we'll go to Firestore Database and Create Database. We're going to start in test mode, which just means it's going to allow read and write to everybody as long as it's not a month from now. Click Next. And I'm going to choose an area close to me and enable. OK, so we're not actually going to use functions in Firebase. If we did, this would just give us JavaScript and TypeScript. And I want Python for this. So we'll go back to Google Cloud. Up top, just type Cloud Functions. And we're going to leave this right here. The next step is we're going to go create a folder on our computer. And I'll call it Python Fire. And I'll open this in my code editor. So I need two files, main.py and requirements.txt. Requirements.txt is the easiest one. All we have to do is add in Google Cloud Firestore, and I'm just choosing to use a recent library, so anything greater than 2.1.3. And now in main.py, first we're going to import Firestore. Next, we're going to access our Firestore. And for the project ID, just type in gcloud projects list. And I can see Python Fire is my ID. I'll type that in. And over on the terminal, I'll make sure I'm in the right project. So that's gcloud config git value project. And it tells me I'm in the wrong one. So I'll switch over to my Python Fire project. So I'll type gcloud config set project Python Fire. OK, back on main.py, I'll create a function called PubSub Fire. In PubSub, everything's encoded, so I'll import base64. The next piece, I'm just going to have a log to make sure that this function actually fires. So I'm just going to grab the context, the metadata of our message, and print out when this was triggered, when it was published, and this code's in the description below. Then, for safety's sake, I'm just going to put in Google's Hello World info. So if we have data in the event, we're going to decode it and say Hello Data. Finally, the Firebase portion. So we're going to go to Firestore, the client we set up. We'll create a collection called Environmental Sensors and a document with some unique name. And I'm just going to set the value in here. You can pull it straight out of the event. And now we're ready to deploy. So to do that, it's just gcloud functions deploy, and then the name of our function in the main.py file. So pubsub fire, and then we're telling it the Python runtime, so dash dash runtime, Python 3.9, dash dash trigger topic, and it's the topic we just created. So for me, garden sensors. OK, so this is the first time on this project I've tried to deploy a function. It's going to fail, but it gives you a website to go to. So I'm going to grab the address, paste it in. And I'm going to enable cloud build. OK, I'm going to run the exact same function, and this time it'll work. OK, it's deployed, and I'm going to refresh cloud functions. And here we see our PubSub Fire function. We can jump into it, go over to logs. And we're going to keep this right here. I'm going to duplicate this page and go over to PubSub. I'll go into our garden sensors topic and publish a message. And click Publish. Now, I've given it about 20 seconds. Cloud functions do need a little time to refresh. And there we go. Hello, temperature 75. The function was triggered by the long message we wrote. And I can come over to Firebase, Firestore. We have environmental sensors as a collection. We have a unique doc name. And we have all of our info. That's how you can write data from PubSub into Firebase using Python and cloud functions. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you.